Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Monday Sports Page. We begin tonight with high school basketball, a primetime Prince George's 4A league matchup on the boys' side with rivals Bowie and Eleanor Roosevelt hitting the court over the weekend. Let's get out to Bowie for the action, and the game came right down to the wire. There are the Bulldogs for the home team. Eleanor Roosevelt, the visitors, and look at this play right here. We get things started with a block shot, but there's Quincy Winston with the rebound, and he puts it back up and in for two points. Right back the other way comes Bowie's Christian Bryant down the lane. He's fouled. The basket counts. He goes to the line for one. And then it's Bowie on the offensive glass. Missed three-point shot. Here's Anthony Barnes with the rebound inside. And he puts it back up and in for two points. Right back the other way come the Raiders. And it's Andre Fox drawing contact. He's fouled. Count it. And one for the Raiders. And then the Raiders moving the ball around here. And it's going to be a steal by the Bowie Bulldogs. Cade Monroe. He takes it all the way to the basket for two more. This game down to the wire, and Eleanor Roosevelt just a little bit stronger. Here's Ishmael Jabby to the basket for two points, and that scores. And then a little bit later in the fourth quarter, one more time to the basket, a foul. Bryant best scores, and he goes to the line. Roosevelt wins 65-62. to from high school basketball to high school swimming. The county championships took place over the weekend at the Sporting Learning Complex. Let's dive into the pool and get you some results from this one. And here's probably the best race of the day, the boys 200 IM uh, medley relay race. Look at this matchup right here. It comes down to the Eleanor Roosevelt Raiders and the Flowers Jaguars and the team of Don Brazelton, Sidney Horton, Malcolm Mallard, and Brennan Davis from the Jaguars. Flowers gets it done. Watch the finish of this race. Here they are down to the wire. And it's going to be the Flowers Jaguars touching the wall just ahead of Eleanor Roosevelt. They win that race. However, the Eleanor Roosevelt boys and girls both win the county championships. Up next for these teams, these the 3A, 4A Central Regional Championships. That takes place next weekend at the Sports and Learning Complex featuring teams from not only Prince George's, but Howard and Anne Arundel County. Also, Montgomery County will be there. The College Lacrosse, the number six Terps, opened up the 2014 season over the weekend when they hosted Mount St. Mary's at Bird Stadium. Let's get up to College Park and pick up this action in this game. And the Terps playing some good defense in front of goalie Nico Amato right here stealing the ball and they are going the other way and that sets up this play Henry West beating his man around the corner and he beats the goalie with the shot that makes the score five to nothing Terps it looks like a runaway Mount St. Mary's trying to stay in the game nice play right here as Robert Jones finds Ryan Lehman for the goal that's their first of the day to try to cut into the gap but Maryland just too strong this one second quarter now Matt Rambo from behind the goal watch him get around the defender Great shot on goal. He beats the goalie. Maryland cruises in this one, winning it by a final score of 16 to 3. Turf will now host UMBC next Saturday at noon from Bird Stadium. Staying on the campus and to college basketball, Mark Turgeon and his Terps coming off a loss to North Carolina look to move over 500 in the ACC over the weekend. The opponent, the Florida State Seminoles, who also entered the game with an identical 5-5 five five ACC record. Let's get you into the Comcast Center and pick up action to Seth Allen finds Evan Smotrich behind the three-point line. Misses a shot. Big offensive rebound by Jake Lehman and he puts it up and in for two Terrapin points. Maryland then playing some D. It's Smotrich chaffing the ball away. Seth Allen's going the other way. He finds Dez Wells above everybody else for the alley-oop dunk. And the Terps begin to pull away. And they would do so with great shooting. Allen's going to find Nick Faust. They get to him. Back to Allen. Behind the three-point line. Easy basket right there. And Maryland widens the lead in the first half. Even when they missed shots, they were right there for the offensive board. Block shot. Shaquille clear with the tip in for two more points. And then, how about one more time from Seth Allen? 32 points on the day. The double team. No problem. Hits the three-pointer. Maryland wins this one. 83 to 71, and they are right back at it tonight. They're on the road at number 20, Virginia. Tip-off scheduled for 9 p.m. Number nine, Lady Terps destroy Clemson yesterday, 95 to 43. They are off until Thursday when they take on Miami. Wizards are once again 500. They defeated the Kings 93-84. They're at Memphis tomorrow night at 8. Now some Winter Olympics from Sochi. Turn your head and turn down the TV if you don't want to hear the results because here's one from the United States today. American Julia Mancuso won the bronze medal in the Alpine Skiing Super Combined Event, event which uh, combines the downhill and the slalom times. It was Mancuso's fourth Olympic medal, making her the most decorated American Alpine skier of all time. And that is your Monday Sports Page.